Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we just got another small little update with Halo Infinite. This time around, the Combat Workshop playlist has made its return as 343 are testing out a mode otherwise known as Big Team Battle Stockpile, which is one that wasn't very well liked during the launch of Infinite and I think so on. So yeah, it's made its return. Of course it is being reworked and that is exactly what 343 are testing out right now so they can get feedback on this and we're going to talk about those changes they made to uh, stockpile and from there you guys can decide whether you think they're good changes or if you just hate stockpile entirely so let's take a look at the changes they made to big team battle stockpile so the four maps that they're testing the new stockpile mode on is breaker deadlock fragmentation and high power now one of the maps did end up getting removed which is breaker for a certain reason which is honestly hilarious and we'll get into that later but for now let's go ahead and break down the changes that they made so the first change is that they reduce seed steal time so on the older stockpile mode it would take centuries just to steal an enemy seed you could literally just stand there so long and you could get picked off by a sniper or honestly just anyone just shooting at you because it would take so long and yeah you'd just be a sitting duck and you'd get killed pretty instantly anyways they did end up reducing the seed steal times which is definitely a good change so now you'll actually have have some sort of incentive to uh, actually steal some seeds. Another new change is that there's less seeds needed to score. Previously, it was, I believe, five seeds that you needed to score. Now it's only three seeds. There's also less seeds on the map. So now there's less seeds on the map. There's only three that spawn on the map. Before it used to be, I think around like seven or eight seeds that would spawn on the map. And because of there being less seeds on the map, that means they're also scattered. So not only that, but the seeds are more scattered. So instead of all being cluttered together in the center of the map, like before, it, it used to be like eight seeds that were all cluttered together in the center. Now they're scattered around. Not only that, but players can also use equipment while holding a seed. So just like in Husky Raid, where you were able to carry the flag and grapple and, you know, drop down a shield or whatever, you can now do that in Stockpile, which I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this change. I haven't been able to really experience it as much. Uh, but yeah, you can do that now. So those are all the changes that were made to the new reworked stockpile mode. I think most of these changes are positive, and from the few games that I've played, it definitely does feel a lot better playing this mode compared to uh, before. Now, there was an issue with this playlist when it launched on a certain map called Breaker, which we're gonna get into right now. I do want to give a quick shout out to I Spiteful. So apparently there was like an XP exploit where you can get a ton of like score or something just by inserting, I think it was a power weapon weapon or something you could just keep inserting it and then taking it out and you could just constantly repeat the progress and just keep getting score which is pretty funny i don't know how that happened <laughs> But yeah, you can do that. But not only that, but it's even more funny because since you can put power weapons in there, you can put like a gravity hammer. I'm assuming you could really put any weapon in there. You just kind of like stick it in there and it actually counts as a point for the score. It counts it as a seed, which is incredibly funny. So they ended up removing the map because of that. I do wish I was able to experience that. I would have loved to just like try to put every single power weapon in there. That would have been hilarious. Luckily though, I Spiteful here does have some footage. So once again, shout out to him. And yeah, that is why the breaker map got removed anyways with that being said let me know what you guys think about the new stockpile changes consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and if you want to see more halo content like this i'll see you guys on the next one peace